I'm Debbie Heber Davis and welcome to the back of my car where we've been fitting all of our most popular car seats um, in cars for you to show you how to fit them um, if you can't get to a store for advice. So this is the ever popular Oyster capsule car seat um, and we're going to fit it first of all without an Isofix base. It is normally supplied with an Isofix base but if you have to put it in a car without an Isofix base you can still fit it. I'm going to show you how to do it safely. Now my seats in my old car are left if you are working with leather seats it is always a good idea to put a mat underneath them um, because it does help prevent the slippage that you're going to get um, where, the, where the plastic rubs against the leather. You'll also need to remove your hood when you're fitting this. That's because when we're going to fit it we have to put our, our handle forwards. So let's get this set up and start with the fitting process. So first of all I'm going to take our seat belt and what we're going to do is our seat belt has got to go through these tight two side sections like this. And then once we've done this, we're going to plug it in to our seat belt here um, and just level the seat. Now the important thing here before you go any further is make sure you take all the slack out across the middle. Now if you do this now, you will get a nice tight fit because you don't want any slackness. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the belt around the back of the seat and then it's got to go through the blue guide on the back. Now the blue guide is a legal requirement. Um, lots of people do say to us, can I have one without the blue bit? Um, unfortunately, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a legal requirement for car seat safety that the fitting routing uh, for infant seats is blue when you're using a belt, so we can't change that. Uh, just so you know, a little information. So you can see I've pulled this all the way around and then I'm gonna just tug it again to make sure. Now look, you can see that that's very secure. The final measure with this one is we do need to pop our handle down so that it sits against the back of the seat and this acts as a brace in case of a serious accident. And as you can see, I've fitted this car seat and you shouldn't be able to get much movement out of it at all. It should be quite solid once it's fitted. So this is the Baby Style, baby style Oyster uh, capsule car seat fitted with a seat belt. I hope you found that information useful. If you do have any comments, do feel free to um, mention them underneath. And if you'd like to give us a thumbs up, we'd always really appreciate it. Don't forget to check out our other video of how to fit this with its Isofix base. Thanks for watching today.